How would I describe lupus? Well, I feel like you have been hit by a Mack truck. It's the, the never ending flu. Lupus is a chronic autoimmune condition where your immune system starts to attack self. In lupus, that attack can be on any organ system in the body, which makes it difficult to diagnose. It's a chronic disease. There's no cure. It tends to target women between the ages of 15 and 45, and women of color are four times more likely to develop lupus. It's hard to live with. Imagine driving a car, but your taillights are out, your tires are going flat, your parking brake is engaged, you're leaking fuel, but yet you still have to figure out how to merge onto this interstate at a high speed. You have to still do it. That's what living with lupus is like. Welcome to my story. It's Angel's Lupus Journey. Hey, it's your girl, your guardian angel, and it is our day. It is the day where you get all new content and stuff from me. So what do we do first? We make sure that we have turned, we have um, hit that subscribe button and turn your post notification bell on. Make sure, make sure, make sure you've gone down in the description area and you're following all of my social media handles. That way you can keep up with me on an everyday basis. I was talking really fast. <laughs> on an everyday basis. Um make sure you are there and let's get into this video all right so as you can see right now i am laying in the bed you know first and foremost i want to say i hope that everyone enjoyed their thanksgiving with their family and their friends or if they were just at home because of the virus that's very smart as well um that they were able to just enjoy the day and be thankful for being thankful for life and um and health and strength um there's been so many deaths this year alone, even from COVID. And so we have to be so thankful that we're still even alive today. Um, and so I am ever so thankful that I am here. I'm thankful for you guys, like I was sharing with you in my last video. I'm, I'm so thankful for you guys. Um, and I am thankful that you all are patient with me to where when I don't uh, feel good, I get a video out to you when I can. I really appreciate that. I appreciate your love. I appreciate your support. I appreciate you looking out for me. <laughs> um, and when I don't send a video out, you all checking on me, I really do appreciate that. It means the world to me. Um, so by way of you probably can tell I'm still not feeling good. I'm breathing in deep. Well, because I'm still dealing with lung stuff. This has been the longest four months dealing with this lung, lung stuff um ever it's just been so long but i've done my best to do the best i can with it and um i did have the ct scan and it was good news that there's no active disease or um illness i mean not illness um active disease or infection right now and so that's that's really really good news there was a lot of scarring and a lot of scar tissue um, into pleurisy there, but um, no active anything going on. Now, does that mean that it doesn't hurt and I'm not having a hard time breathing? That scar tissue alone is, is, is keeping me having a hard time. So it does, but I'm still so thankful that it wasn't um, anything that, you know, too detrimental to my health um, in the long run. Um, there is some things that lupus can do affecting your lungs and there I know you know multiple people who have passed away because they of their lungs and, and not being able to get a, a lung transplant and I know people who have done well um Miss Shaw and, and you all have heard me talk about her before but she got her lung transplant and she's doing great but but it is a blessing not to um even have to say that I'm dealing with that right now so we can take the scarring we can take the pleurisy we can um we can take those things and still be grateful because it could be worse uh so that is what's going on with me there I'm still resting I'm still running fevers off and on um I'm still feeling poorly I I'm in the bed as you can see like I'm just not feeling the greatest um I still have lipstick on from earlier sorry <laughs> um so i haven't been feeling the greatest but i'm doing the best that i can you guys and so that's all we can do 
Um, so I hope all is well with you. You guys know that I love to love on you. So make sure you are commenting back to me. I just love to read your um, messages and I love to respond back to you. Like I have my faithful few that really do stay on top of messaging me and I feel like you guys are family. And so I really truly appreciate each and every one of you. Um, and so please keep that up. That keeps me going, believe it or not. It keeps me going. It pushes me to keep recording these videos, to keep bringing you along this journey with me. So I really do appreciate you guys. Now, I'm going to go back to resting. I'm tired um, from talking and I'm a little out of breath. I don't know if y'all have noticed it while I have been talking this whole time. I have to like stop and take a breath or just breathe in deep or whatever. I'm doing what I have to do, right? And that's all we can do. So I hope all is well with you and your family. And uh, y'all are having a great weekend. And I will talk to you hopefully soon. Okay, I love you guys. I love you with the love of Jesus. May your tomorrows be better than your yesterdays. Bye.